everybody for another episode of the Fallout Friends. This is Desmond in. And, uh, yeah, so right now I'm just gonna chill on the loading screen. I think this is the new Goss rifle. Looks pretty darn cool. Uh, yeah, so last time I just finished up, uh, what was this place? Arcjet systems. I cleared Arcjet systems with, uh, with uh, dance, you know, with uh, Paladin dance. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my way back to. Let's see. I was gonna make my way back to uh, Sanctuary real quick. I can't fast travel. I'm overweight. I wonder if that perk is still. Is there still a perk for that? I'm gonna have to go drop something real quick. Six pounds worth of somethings. Mm, these are five pounds a piece. Put nine pounds a piece. Mm. This is always so hard. <laughs> Righteous Authority, this is the new one. So it's got this special stuff on it. I'm wondering if I can actually uh, modify this at all. I'm not quite sure yet. But, I know I have multiples of these and not worth very much, so I'm going to drop that real quick. Maybe I can pick it up later when I come back, because I'm sure I'll be back. So let's go ahead and uh, get my way back to Sanctuary real quick, drop off all my stuff, and I'll be back. Actually, I'm going to be heading back to, uh, oh, that's cool. I'm going to be heading back to uh, the police station. Oh my gosh, they made a little pin. Awesome. That would be really cool if they started selling these things as pins. I like the little shine on it. Hmm. But yeah, I'm really close to level 9. I'm not quite sure what prick I want to take next. I think I kind of want to increase my strength actually. Let's go ahead and drop off some stuff real quick and. Move on to the next place. So, transfer. Drop off the auto pistol. Drop off all those. I don't really use mines yet, so we'll leave those. And drop all these off. I was using this last time, I think. It was actually really good. Let me make sure. Ooh. Let me see. I think that's what I was using last time. Yeah, this actually does 21 damage a shot, and I have 596 shots with it, so I'm going to keep that with me. Let's see. I'm going to drop all these off. It's 32 damage, and that's per shot. That's actually really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and leave. That's 32 damage a shot. I'm going to leave the Institute Rifle here. Keep this with me. That's 37 damage a shot. But that also, you gotta charge it every shot, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it 6. Fire it's 50. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this musket. And that shoots 45 rounds. I think I'm gonna put that one away too, because I don't need to carry this many things. But keep that with me. Keep. Hmm. I'm going to leave that here as well. And I can just start using the right authority. Don't really need that. Oh, perception's higher though with it. Let me go ahead and uh, I think something's wrong with my HDMI cord. So let me fix that real quick. There we go. Fix the connection to the Commonwealth. Let's see, Captain's hat. Endurance is twos added. Assault gas mask. So the damage resistance is only like one. It doesn't really do much for me. It gives me radiation, so I think I'm actually going to switch clothes real quick.
Gives me a perception of one. Another perception of one. So that's two perception. Two endurance. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two on. There we go. Whoa. Must be going crazy. I totally thought I saw Brahmin. Go ahead and head back to the police station real quick. Yeah, the Cambridge police station. Is <coughs> <laughs> it cool looking? Mm. Is it a baseball? <laughs> it looks like a baseball. I guess I can go ahead and make a baseball grenade. That's kind of cool. Yes, and that's probably the plasma grenade. And then that looks like a nuka grenade. River fragmentation grenade. Hmm. Let's go ahead in here and uh, finish up the quest. Yes, I don't know. I don't know what will happen if I join them. I'll join him. I'd be honored to join, and that settles it. Alan, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming <laughs> one of the best. Recon, eh? So, what are we looking for? Don't worry about it. Talk to Reese and I after we're done here, and we'll explain everything. You decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. I don't have to prove anything to you. Yeah, you do. You need to prove that you aren't gonna put a round in my back the minute I turn around. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our team without question. Hmm. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. <laughs> I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. That's not too bad. In line, you stay in line. I give you an order and you follow. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher. Hmm. Fair enough. Outstanding, soldier. Ad victorium, initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means 
to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember, now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. Hmm. Most people probably don't want to talk to Reese. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to Reese. Make him a little mad. Say that will make you trust me. There's nothing you can say. Trust is earned through action. Nothing more, nothing less. That's fair. Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants. Ghouls, synths, the abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is. I'm gonna send you a and you're gonna terminate everything you call All the details you need to play right there. Don't come back. Dad? <laughs> uh oh. Watch your toes. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing standing around here? You have your orders. Re still giving you the cold shoulder. I wish we could see eye to eye. Reese only sees one thing. Reese. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, <laughs> he shoves it aside. Is there something between the two of you? That's none of your business. Look, just give Reese some time. I'm sure he'll see you're a valuable member of the team, and he'll come around. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, and be careful.
Lock tight. We're talking her. Oh, I think there's one more in there. Another kickball. Oh, bowling ball. That's exciting. Hmm. Bowling pins. I bet I could activate this thing. It was really hard. Fine, I guess I won't unlock it. Stupid. This guy was gonna burn this place down. sleep now but normally that would mean that there's no more enemies around but I think there still are pillow and a t-shirt and slacks. Hmm. Oh shoot. What? <laughs> Where did that come from?
Alright, well, I gotta take a short break real quick to answer phone calls, so I'll be right back. And here, so I'm moving around in there earlier. There he is. Ooh, a hunting rifle. Good. <coughs> Another short hunting rifle. A uh, hunting rifle would fit in that thing. It didn't make too much of a difference. Find that Mucinex. <laughs> you gonna get some Nyquil? Huh? I'm just gonna go get some Nyquil. There we go. I don't know that the station's cleared out. I guess I can run out of here, head to the next spot. Let's say moldy food. Moldy food for us. Get out of here.
That's a muffled tempered right radio right arm. So let's see with the right arm. I think I got a boiled right arm right now. A two and four. So let's see what this does. Three and three. Let me go ahead and do that one. Two and four. Found it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you look so unhappy with that answer. <laughs> Boiled leather right leg. Two and five. Three and six. I'd say that's better. Three and three. Yeah, let's do that. Three and three. Two and five. Yeah, I'll go with the three and three for right now. Three and ten. Six four, yeah, this is good. Ooh, Harden Reader, I think it's five and five. It's three and six, five and five is a lot better. Probably drop something real quick. I'll drop. I don't need those. Let's see what he looks like now. <laughs> kind of cool. Oh crap! Uh, there's another one right there. Gotcha. Buddy, I totally fell asleep last night. Well, this was awesome. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a new gun. Actually, um, it's after I finished the mission with him, it's uh, it's got a name. Uh, let's see, Righteous Authority. <laughs> so critical shots do double damage, and critical meter fills 15% faster with this thing. And I have 522 shots with this thing, so, and it does 32 damage a shot. That's why I'm using this right now. It's pretty darn good. And I just finished up a mission for... Uh, no. It's semi-auto. So, you finished or what? Yep. <laughs> What's up? Um, let me take a look real quick. We can take a look at the perk chart. So right now, I got the Rifleman, which I really want another one of. I'm level 9. I think I'm, yeah, I'm level 9 now, so I can do 40% more with non-automatic rifles. That'll be really, really good. So I'm going to grab that next, and then, oh, I really want this too, though, but I need to be level 13. I got the Bloody Mess perk, I got Action Boy, I need to be level 18 for the next one, but, so my AP points regen faster, oh man, I need this one. So you can just select any one you want, once you get it just goes up that level. Yep. Every, like, what, five levels or so? Something like that, yeah. Mm, 
I need to get these. Gunslinger, non-automatic pistol, 20% more damage. Automatic weapon, 20% more damage. But I think I want to because 20% damage would be really nice. I don't really steal stuff yet, so I'm not worried about that. Um, path to the closest quest target is displayed in VAT. Yeah, that's it. I know, I thought it was gonna be hard, like that you can drive, but no. This path to the closest quest target is displayed in VAT, which is interesting, but not exactly what I wanted. Any times you take less, 50% longer, fall out. <laughs> That's really funny. Third rage. Parking plus 10% accuracy. Pain train, choo choo, all forward. <laughs> sprinting in it, enemies hurts and staggers them. Uh, it's awesome. Sprinting in the enemies while wearing power armor now causes massive damage and knocks them down. Impact landing near enemies inflicts more damage. It's awesome. Heavy gunner, blacksmith. This is what I need too, so that way I can uh, upgrade my melee weapons. <laughs> and armor. I really do want to grab this one though, the rifleman. Welcome back. I've got another mission. Not yet. <laughs> Still gotta go grab something else. I gotta go drop off all this stuff that I picked up. I've been picking up a lot of stuff lately just to sell, but I don't have anybody to sell to yet. I think once I get to Diamond City, I can probably sell some stuff. I should probably just walk my way over to Diamond City. There are, but I only like storing it in a place that I know it's going to stay. So that's why I'm going to go to Sanctuary real quick. Yeah, submachine gun. Uh, I have one of those. I think I my safe but my grandfather actually knows where one of these is buried so my grandpa his brother was in the Chicago mob and so I guess back in the day you know he probably killed some people and down somewhere in Louisiana he said that uh, one of these things is buried in a box and he said that he filled it with cosmoline put it in a box and buried it next to a tree next to the chicken coop my grandpa really wants to take a trip down there sometime and <laughs> uncover it see if we can find it and I you know, I like, man, that'd be really cool, but I don't know how freaking legal that would be if I <laughs> dig up a fully automatic machine gun. But technically, I guess if it was made before 1980, it's completely fine. Which it would have been because my grandpa's kind of old. <laughs> so let's see. I don't need that many grenades. Uh, no, I kind of want to keep them. Don't need the mine. Pipe bolt action. Oh yeah, they shoot the 308. Pipe revolver. Pistol. She's the 45, short double barrel shotgun, short hunting rifle, yeah, see this does 73 damage instead of the, the uh, whatever amount the other one did, short light hunting rifle, so this weighs a lot less but does 4 less damage, that's actually pretty good, 4 less damage, hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. Let's see. <laughs> Strength and agility is higher. Put that away. Actually, no, I can't take that with me. Mm -mm. Yeah, gas mask. See, I'm keeping it because it gives me a little damage resistance and it also gives me 15%, or 15 radiation resistance. Perception, one higher is good. Dirty postman hat. <laughs> Gives me some endurance, which I'm probably not going to wear. Gas mask with goggles. Assault gas mask. See, one's worth more. I like this one more, so I'll put that one away. Leather chest piece. 
mining helmet. <laughs> that away. Endurance of two, so that's better. That's cool that he like activates. He takes out the CP. You see that? Wait, let's let's do that again. That's really cool. I'm gonna drop off some junk in this one. Stuff I don't need. Free war money, I think. Got a lot of that stuff. Yeah, some iguana on a stick. Yeah, I know, right? Sounds pretty tasty. Some mutt chops, some mongrel dog meat. Make some of that. I think that's. Make some soup. Nope. No beverages yet. I need more dirty water. <laughs> dirty wastelander. Now, that one doesn't sound very good. It only gives me, uh, it gives me three strength, one charisma, but takes out two of my intelligence for a while. Don't really want to be drinking some of those. Let's see. And I saw something on the map. I think that's just my power armor. So Sanctuary, when I first got here, the happiness level was at like 20%, and then when I left it was at 19 and it was going down <laughs> I was like well that's not good so I uh, I built enough beds for everybody so there's five beds for everybody five defense uh, there's no power but it doesn't really matter um, nine water six food so we can actually sustain this place with food now which is good because I built a little garden there's a cute little garden that I built it's a lot of tato plants <laughs> And then some melons, and some more melons. Yeah, make yourself useful. This guy's like depressed or something. He's super... He's just super downer. I don't really want to talk to him. Let's see. I don't really want to get in the middle of their argument or whatever, but I need to make some food. I got some... Where's the razor grain? I really need this razor grain, because this stuff is apparently pretty important. Why is one of these so much smaller than the other one? It doesn't look like it produced that- It doesn't produce that much more, so why the frick would I make the big one? <laughs> yeah, why would I do that? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and make this little one, and you guys better start harvesting it. I'm gonna put it right in between you. So you guys stop arguing. <laughs> Man. She's just a negative Nancy over here. Let's see. I'm gonna build, build some more potato plants. See, I was trying to figure out earlier why there were two of them. I guess one just looks different than the other? Because it doesn't produce any more than the other one. But at least now we make more food a little bit. I don't like the fact that... I have to put money into building these because it costs 300 caps to build a trader stand 600 what uh trading shop trading emporium armor weapons food and drink so i can make a food and drink stand for 250 bucks i don't want to put that much money into this yet <laughs> let's see what's my weight at Q 
Let me check my 118. Where is dog meat? I think I made dog meat go wait for me at the station. HP, it's not bad. Crispy squirrel bits. <laughs> Fury. Grilled red roach. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out like what kind of stuff I can put away that I don't need to carry around. Like the Nuka Cola, I don't think I'm gonna be drinking a whole bunch of because I don't know they're worth 20 bucks a piece. So I'm gonna put these away. The Nuka cherries are 50, which they're worth 40, so I don't want to drink those. Psycho. Not ever really gonna use it because I don't wanna get addicted. Purified water is good. It's worth 20, but you know, 40 health. Rad X, I need that. Rad away, definitely keep that. Got some more rad roach meat that I don't need. Ribeye steak that I cooked from Brahmin earlier. Roasted Mire Lurk meat from the worst enemy I've fought in this game so far. Those dumb Mire Lurks were so strong. I, I took a bunch of shotgun shells and. I started trying to shoot him in the face, but I couldn't hit him because I kept ducking. Tar berries. I was trying to figure out if I can grow those, but apparently I can't. Hmm. So I got a new fusion core. <laughs> this charges 7 out of 100, and this charges 100 out of 100, so... I'm not planning on really using my power armor right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave it there. I don't know if I put dog meat at the truck stop by accident. Let's go take a look. Because I very well, I very may well have. That's not dog meat. Where is dog meat? Hmm. Kinda miss my doggy. Oh, there you are! Dog meat! Oh, what the? Come on, let's go, dog. Come on, boy. It's time to go. Yay. I have a neat trick. <laughs> Trying to figure out where Rock Narrows Park is. Hmm. Oh, there's a target. <coughs> just go to Arc Systems and then go there. Even without any pieces, a power armor frame provides a variety of advantages. Hmm. So it takes away fall damage, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna see if I can find that shotgun I dropped on the ground earlier. There it is. There's a lot of other stuff I left in there. Hmm. Yeah. I'll just make dog meat carry it. <laughs> I 
I'd be surprised if there weren't any more synths in here. Because we destroyed them all. I don't know if they would like... I don't know. Re... Respawn or something? But I don't think so. Yes, this is all the stuff I dropped earlier because I couldn't carry anymore. <laughs> I think that was pretty much all of it that I can remember. <coughs> That's pretty cool looking. Uh, trash can. Alright, that's all I need you out of there. Going the load times on this are pretty phenomenal so far. Hi, dog meat. Now, I like the front side on this. It's just a green little bead that's kind of glowy. Seventy-one feet that a distance. Hmm. Looks like there's some kind of houses here. Oh shoot, that looks like a Yagwai. Stunted Yagwai, so this thing's damaged already. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of saw it coming like earlier and I was like, man, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> I was going to say, it looked like a regular old bear. So that was a stunted Yagwai, so I'm wondering if there are any more around here, because I don't think Yagwai usually... <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are these things always around? Get away from me. <laughs> Creepy little robot. I'm gonna sleep for an hour real quick, you know, while the Yagwai was around. Hmm. Oh. Oh my gosh! Wow, that didn't... That won't do a whole lot of damage. Oh, never mind. That did a lot of damage. Yeah, die. <laughs> Punk. That did a lot of damage to me. <laughs> I'm glad that there's no degradation in this game, so I'm gonna go ahead and sleep again. <laughs> so I gotta find something in there. Okay. Dog me just found something. Well thanks, Dog me. What? <laughs> I think there's an armor piercing pipe rifle I just picked up. Glow sighted armor piercing pipe auto rifle. Oh. I don't really like auto rifles. <laughs> hmm. I think I picked some up too though. You know? I think I picked up some explosives though. Dog meat, what'd you find? I know dog meat, I was just in there. Nope. Nope, I was already in there, dog meat. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm-mm. Fuck -mm. this. <laughs> this little valley. I'm gonna go ahead and... So I gotta s before I describe Halen real quick. And I can keep doing the paladin dance stuff, but I don't feel like it... I think I'm gonna talk to... Is it Overland or finally go to Diamond City? I should probably head to Diamond City so I can start selling my stuff because, hmm, I'm getting close to a thousand caps, but that's basically nothing in this game. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a fat man right there. There's a power helmet, nuke, mini nuke. 
Laser pistol. Your old toolbox. That looks like a blowtorch to me. Radio? Looks like a little radio. And some fusion power cells. This looks like a good old Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> Supply pack. I'm liking that the weather is really dynamic, so there's fog sometimes, you know, there's rain, there's storms. Like earlier there was a storm that was so, I don't know, it looked like dusty or foggy that I just couldn't even see past it. Where's the lady? Oh, personal log. <laughs> Cool. Alright, I'm ready already. Good luck. Cool. Let's see if he's got anything more for me. What are you doing, Paladin Dance? <laughs> You're just getting all up in his face. <laughs> Oh, cool. I guess I finished another mission. Look who's back. I hope this means you finally got the guts to clear out another location. Oh, so he just keeps giving me missions. That's cool. I don't want to see your face until that place is clear. Alright, that's fine. Wicked shipping fleet lockup. Cool. Two new missions already. It's nice, at least, you know, that way we can level up, and, ooh, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that perk on so I get more damage to these uh, non-automatic rifles. Level up real quick. There it is, doing 40% damage and ignore 15% of target armor. Man, double damage, ignore 30% of armor, and also have slightly higher. That would be really cool. Alright, well, uh, next time on the Fallout Friends, you guys will probably see me heading to Diamond City, so thanks for catching up with me. Catch you guys in the wasteland, wasteland next time. Bye! You kite over there, just like, oh my gosh, cheap crap. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This is Desmond and the Fallout Friends. So, last time we were uh, picking up some stuff for the scribe. Now, I really want to head to Diamond City. I don't really care about Paladin Dance right now. Oberlin Station, I might, I might do that. But, I already did the haptic drive at some other place, and then cleared another place out last time. So then, Oberlin Station or Diamond City. <coughs> Let me check my inventory real quick. I'm at 168 weight. Uh, you know, I might, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this stuff off first at uh, my house real quick. And then head to Diamond City, because we really need to get there eventually. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. That's good to know. So don't... <laughs> Don't blow off both the robot's arms, because then they'll charge at you with self-destruct sequence. Because that doesn't sound like a good idea. I'd rather just shoot them, blow them up. I guess shooting their legs off would be kind of funny. <laughs> have them crawl towards you in an angry gait. Alright. Oh, shoot. Help depend defend 10 bluff. I guess 10 times bluff is getting attacked or something? So I gotta go defend it real quick. Probably not very happy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Kind of wanted one of those. There's that shotgun. 
don't need eight of them. <laughs> this one. So ten pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> Cool. Level ten. I wonder how much damage this uh, this rifle does now. Yeah, see, I knew these guys were getting attacked because it said so on my map, or my thing, so let's see if this... Now it does 38, it's nice, so that perk really does help. What's up, guy? <laughs> Quick little... little thing. Hey, back up, guy. I don't want to shoot my person by accident. The caravan guard. Whoa. Back up, yo. Whoa. This one's throwing stuff at us and shooting me. Don't beat up my dog. I guess I could execute criticals. I finally figured out how to execute criticals. When you aim at somebody and you, you know, choose to attack them, you have to press square at the same time. So watch. And then I can press square button to execute the critic. Oh, shoot. No, not him. Glad I didn't execute a critical on that guy. <laughs> I like grabbing the stuff with plus on them, whatever it is, because it, it just seems like they're doing something more for me. I think they killed him. They killed him without my help. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to... There we go, so I'm gonna... Do that. Hit X and then square. Execute critical. Boom. Where'd that guy go? There he is. You know what, I'm gonna grab all this stuff. Cause that's my way to 173. I might as well. Are there more guys coming? Oh my gosh! Do, 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 do. Nope, hitting the tree. Oh my dog! Back up, yo! Whoa! You got some good stuff. Cool. There's a lot more settlers at this place now. I should probably make this a nicer settlement. <laughs> because I made Sanctuary a little bit nicer, but this place doesn't have anything. Where are those other raiders I killed? There's one. Pump the water pump real quick. Do some work. <laughs> At a minimum. <laughs> no problem. See, they already got plenty of food here. Let's see what their happiness levels at. Probably not very... Oh, no, three beds. Happiness of 50. Zero defense, though. Tato plants is damaged. Which Tato plant? I can't even tell. The object is now repaired and can produce again. <laughs> Interesting. This settlement doesn't have much, but apparently they're happy. They don't have any defenses. I mean, how do you defend this plot of land, you know? I guess I could set up walls. That would be cool. Start scrapping all the trees and start making wooden walls. I wonder if they can destroy wooden walls or not. Wreck this house real quick. It's useless. A refrigerator. Why can't I just destroy this whole house? 
Ow. Yeah, a tiny red roach. I'm curious as to why I can't just destroy this whole house. Oh, I don't want to destroy the mattress. Why can't I just take this house out and just make a new thing? Hmm. I guess there are already walls up <laughs> here and here. If I take out all the trees and stuff. <laughs> I'm taking away the cinder blocks that are holding these up, so <laughs> you just take out this whole structure of the building. Branch pile. I'll leave that. I don't really know why it's over here though. Put it a little closer. Too bad I can't scrap bodies. <laughs> Start making bone stuff. I guess I'll make some defenses. Uh, guard post? Maybe <laughs> guard post, I guess, like right next to their door? I don't know. And then the tall one overlooking the hill. And then I can make a turret. I mean these turrets actually don't take a lot. Machine gun turret, circuitry, gear and oil. I wonder if I can drop off some more some of the junk I have. I don't have much. Oh my, there's stuff somewhere else. So I wonder if I have to scrap all that stuff. I don't think so. There's oil in there. So I have one out of two oil. Okay. So I need to bring stuff here to this location in order to use it. It's not just you know one workshop for everything interesting oh. oops <laughs> thanks man I built the whole town did you yeah. no cinder blocks What turrets they got? Heavy machine gun turrets. This is 8 defense. Does it take anything else? No, it only takes 2 more steel. Heavy machine gun turret would be so much better than just a regular one. And it doesn't seem like it takes any more... It doesn't take any power. Laser turret takes power. Shotgun turret takes power. Spotlight takes power. Interesting that you don't have to actually put like ammunition in these for them to work so this place has basically no defense I gotta sign somebody there but why are, there were so many settlers here a second ago now they're none I don't know where the heck they all went or where they came from they were just kind of here I guess and there was a caravan here a second ago but I don't know where he went he just disappeared without me That'd be funny though, if like uh, there was you took away the restrictions on where you could build stuff, and so you just scrap literally everything in the wasteland. <laughs> just scrap every single tree and just destroy the environment even worse than it's already destroyed and build stuff. Well, looks like I'm full up on stuff again. I keep saying I'm gonna go do stuff, and then I get involved in something like this, and I go pick a bunch of junk, and oh, the cryolator is a powerful prototype rifle that can completely freeze enemies. So once I get my lock picking up high enough, I can go and get this thing out of that case, out of the uh, Vault 1 of 11. That is a cool looking rifle though, and obviously that's one of the 
special custom ones too. Pew pew pew. I wonder what kind of ammunition it takes. Got no idea. What it would take. I need to fix my radiation soon. I'm wondering how I can check that level. Let's see. Um, it doesn't tell me. It tells me how much health I have. It doesn't tell me exactly how much how many reds I have though. I have cap. Oh, okay. Gun nut. I need a higher gun nut. A higher locksmith. What'd you find, dog meat? Alright, what'd you find? You found my house. Cool. Good job, dog me. You found my house. Where I store my stuff. This is probably what he's leading me to is my own box. My box with all my stuff in it. My house is just that uh, tactical hardened pipe pistol. That's used the 45 rounds, which that's pretty cool. It's 31 damage. Oh, that says tactical because it's got the scope on it. So that holds. So I got 94 rounds of this, just 31 damage. But I don't think I really need it right now yet. So I'm gonna go put that away. These army fatigues. Don't need that. Don't need those. Oh, metal chest piece. Seven plus. Whoa. I should probably check those out. Metal chest piece, metal left arm. Alright. Well.
Hmm. So I dropped off the stuff that I need to drop off. So let's go ahead and... You know... Cleansing the Commonwealth would be cool. But I don't know where that is. Overland Station. No, I'm going to Diamond City. I need to go to Diamond City. I've been putting it off for way too long. I know I've been just trying to save it, but... I haven't gone to Overland Station yet. Or the Bean Town Brewery. Maybe I will go to Overland Station. <laughs> Pickpocket perk. I like how he's unlocking something and also putting something in somebody else's pocket at the same time. And the other guy doesn't even have a vault number. So I need to head out and go... There's Overland Station over there. You report to Paladin Dance, but I don't want to. I think there's a bridge out this way. That I can go across and just... That I can make it to Overland Station or whatever. I think that's what I'm seeing. So it's forward and to the left a little bit now. But I can't drive this cool thing. Take all this stuff. Pick up all the stuff that I dropped earlier. Maybe I can sell some stuff at Oberlin Station. There's the bridge. I'm not a big fan of laser guns and stuff, but this one's actually not bad. There we go. I knew there was going to be a frag mine or something. Go pick that up. Probably gonna be frag mines on this bridge. At least I hope so. Else I'd be disappointed. I guess not. Interesting. I always use vats whenever crossing a bridge or something like that. Because if they're mines, I like to know where they are. <laughs> where I can pick them up. Beantown Brewery. Not quite sure what'd be in here. Some mushrooms. <sighs> so turned completely around. I need to go this way to get to the Oberlin Station. How many 38 rounds do I have? So this is now doing 20 damage a shot. 521 rounds. 502 rounds with that. So I'm going to start using this again. I just missed the sound of a regular gun going off too. Plus the inventory is pretty big so... It's not too bad. What's across the river? So this is just the Oberlin Station? Okay. Hey, there are people here. Excuse me. My back hurts. My feet hurt. Everything hurts. I'm sorry. <clears throat> did the Minutemen send you? I did. Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. 
stealing our food and supplies and threatening us if we can't get what they want. <laughs> kill the raiders in back street. <laughs> That's funny. To kill the raiders that are wearing back street clothes. <laughs> oh gosh. How many are there? This time there were three. But who knows how many are back there? Oh gosh, there's a base. Well, sounds like we're clearing out a base. Um I really want to drop some of my stuff off here, like the clothes, but I don't think there's any containers yet. Man. I'm going to be taking on a raider base. I really want to take as little supplies as possible. Because yeah, I'm at 149 already, and I'm guessing there's going to be over 100 pounds worth of stuff there. But at least now on my map, i got a place i got to go. Backstreet Apparel. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, I can't get over it. Backstreet Apparel. <laughs> oh man, I gotta. Oh man, I gotta go there. But I gotta drop my stuff off first in Sanctuary. I don't want to take that many guns this time, so I'm gonna leave my mini gun because I, I need to stop carrying that thing around unless I'm gonna use power armor. It's not worth using. That is one angry looking death claw, look at him. So that tail it looks shorter and fatter than they did before. They look a lot bulkier now. They look more Godzilla like in this game. A lot meaner. Look at that face. <laughs> I need to place a little mat right here so I teleport right at my house. There's actually a thing that you can drop, I think. Crafting. Where is it? It's not it. Uh, stores? No, it's not under stores. Miscellaneous? Resources? Yeah, there we go. Fast travel target. Put that right there. Now I can just teleport there. I don't really need the 10 millimeter pistol, do I? I don't know. I guess I don't have any. Definitely not taking the minigun with me. That thing's too heavy. Don't need that. Definitely taking the right authority. To take the shotgun. I don't need the light hunting rifle. Drop off all the clothes I just picked up that I don't need. I'll need two metal right arms. Don't need those. Don't need those. Welding goggles. Now that's cool. Wait, I kind of want to wear welding goggles instead of my uh, authority glasses. Oh, let's check out what those look like. So there's the authority glasses. Let's check out the welding goggles. That way at least I can look like... Uh, yeah, there we go. Now I look like, uh, what is it, Riddick from the Chronicles of Riddick. Look awesome. I really want some night vision goggles now with this hat. Oh, that looks sick. All right. Well, time to go. Let's see. Yeah, I'm at 82 weight now. That's a lot better. So let's go ahead and uh, teleport back to Oberlin Station, make our little trip out to the Backstreet Boys. Take out the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Oh, there's a special nuka coal on that one. I wish I could zoom in farther. That one looks like it's glowing though. Look at that, it's moving. I'm not doing anything. It's just kind of glowing and going off. So that must be nuka coal quantum. I'm guessing you can make, like, I don't know, grenades out of that or something. Let's see, which direction are we heading? Okay, it's just straight. Just head straight. Keep going. Short double barrel shotgun. Cool, I got a lot of rounds for that now. 10 millimeter pistol. Interesting. I need to... I need to put this on. I need to favorite that. On the left. 
Maybe I can switch to it real quick. Huh. Apparently I can shoot with uh, no gun in my hands. A lot of ammo for that. Still got a lot of ammo for that. Getting more ammo for this. Definitely going over this first though. I always like to use vets to kind of survey the landscape real quick. Wild nut fr mutt fruit. Maybe I can start growing it too. Jealous Brahmin skull is kind of cool. Put those in my house. Sneaking in under the cover of night. <laughs> Where are we at? Getting closer. Whoa, there's a fire. Shoot. There's a whole bunch of enemies out this way. Mr. Summer. Sumner? What the heck are these things? Miss Rosa is almost dead. What the heck is going on here? It looks like a bunch of ghouls. No, it's not my community. This is somebody else. Is it? Maybe this is. Maybe this is all the people that used to live in my community. Shoot. Sorry, dog me. Did I shoot you? Oh, shoot. There's a super mutant. Dog meat, you good? Boom. Oh shoot! That's not gonna do a whole lot of damage. Shoot, that's not what I wanted either. Here we go. What's up dude? Just carrying a board. Oh shoot. Let's go shooting this place up. Go home. Okay, Vanguard. Where's this guy going? Come back. Hi. The only way you get old. Yeah, the caravan guy left. I wanted to see if I could buy something from him, or at least sell him something. Mr. Donahue. Hmm. Oh well. Interesting. At least Stimpaks don't seem to be too terribly hard to find. I need to switch that slot. Need to make that not favored anymore, or at least put it down it there. Have a name on it. Huh. it around. Let's see. <clears throat> that. Now I can switch my stim packs to be there. There you go, much better. Make sure all my guns are loaded. Yep. Getting close to the back streets. Backstreet Apparel, what kind of place would this be? I'm really curious. I'm 
machine gun turret mark one. So I could take this thing out from here. I could use the righteous authority. Which might actually be a little better. I think it's gonna be stronger to Ooh. Boom. Bunch of these guys. The fire rate's pretty high. I'm gonna wait for it to reload. There we go. I just took a missile launcher. Is that a trap? It totally looked like a trap, but now I got a missile launcher. Take all this stuff you got. Mentats. Taking out the turret. Cool. I feel like there's another guy we killed somewhere, but he's probably already dead. Power relay coil. I guess that was the other thing. Barrel shotgun, a missile launcher, which I have seven missiles for already. Uh, compensated calibrated 10 millimeter pistol. Uh, what is this, dude? Is this better? Got more range, got more accuracy, the weight's a little higher. I'm gonna go ahead and use this for a little bit. Oh, let's see how this does. I'm sure this doesn't take as the other stuff, so hopefully good. Oh shoot, they know. Boom, critical strike, headshot. I wonder if the critical makes it so it's a guaranteed hit or not. I need to take out that machine gun to it. Shoot, might die. Your health goes down so fast, I couldn't even tell. Yeah, take some roasted Meyerlick meat. Some mutt chops. There we go, I'm gonna duck. Is that the bed for him? Is that gonna fit your bed? What is it, a table? Oh, that's a table. Cool. Well, I guess we got a table now. I don't know. Are we putting that in the living room or what? Oh, uh, really? It didn't disappear. I just kind of chilled out here. Short double barrel shotgun. Cool. Is there a dead guy? An old one. Fashionable glasses, finally. Thanks, man. Turn this back on.
Swing and clutch loose here. Oh shoot. That guy's dead. Yeah, I don't know where to put the slash, but... Toothbrushes? You guys don't seem like they use toothbrushes. Yeah, cool. Why would you lock a cooler? Where's my bobby pin? Right arm bones. That's <laughs> probably fine for now. Oh, that's cool. I can make armor. Probably in the living room. Later. For now, put it in the in the kitchen. Can you lift it or is it heavy? Let's see. Welded Raider. Modify. Insulated lining. Whoa. That'd be really cool. Damage resist. Right now the Vault 111 jumpsuit doesn't actually do anything. Protective shielded lining. So it requires a science rank 4 and armor rank 4. So this is where the armor comes in. That's cool. So I need to start working on the armor stuff. Standard painted metal. Damage and energy resistance. Enameled. Shadowed. Oh, that would be cool. Stealth in dark areas. Polished metal chest piece. Lighter build. Wow, it makes it a lot lighter. Padded. Makes it heavy. Wow. That's cool. I can definitely get into that. Is that is that a safe? <gasps> I can unlock it. Store something on in that safe. Eight pounds worth of somethings. Drop that off, drop those off. Yeah, that's good. Probably need more weight for when I kill these other guys though. Buttressed Raider chest piece. What kind of chest piece do I have on right now? Metal. Yeah, moved your table. Twelve and five, twelve and nine. No. Cool. I need that chest piece instead. There we go. That's pretty cool. Never read any of these books. Oh, okay. Party boys. What? Get some mother. Whoa! I got that. Ha. What do you got for me?
lightweight metal left leg. Let's see what I got right now. Mm, metal left leg. Three, three. Just there's metal left leg earlier. Seven and three. Shazam! There we go. That's pretty cool. Don't need that many. Don't need that many of these either. There we go. Here, it looks like a safe, a mattress, cap stash, cool, board game, dog food, pack of duct tape. When it pills now, I don't know what that is, but that's cool. I'm finding a lot of Grognak the Barbarian around here. No way. Master. Hmm. I'm gonna be level 7, expert, master. I'll be level 18 for that. Gotta come back and do that. Killed all the raiders in this place. I killed the Backstreet Boys. Hmm. Said the fins. That's pretty cool. Just chill out up top here. Whoa, you can go across the building tops. That's really cool. Hey, teddy bear. And the teddy bear is what put me over. this place uh time to go ahead and uh head on back to Overton station <laughs> regeneration that's cool that'd be nice to eventually get Wee. 
go and talk to the settler real quick. Absolutely. I took care of those raiders for you. Cool. Happiness is kind of low. Food's high. Water's good. And no power. No defense. <coughs> Happiness is kind of going down, but I gotta leave these guys. Talk to Preston Garvey real quick, and uh, drop off a whole bunch of my stuff. Happiness is at 68%, so that's good. Preview arc to throwing grenades. That's awesome. TNT. I know I might. Unique bonus of more damage inflicted at night or improved radiation resistance. So that's pretty cool. Rifle 23, which is really higher than the one I have. Drop that. Put that away. That away. So that one does more damage than the one I have right now, which is pretty good. The range is pretty high too. She's a little lower though. Missile launcher won't be using that for a while. Then doesn't the fall out friends. Thanks for catching up with us again. So uh see you guys in the wasteland next time guys. Bye. Hey what's up everybody? This is Desmond and the Fallout Friends and last time we were helping out Oberton Station clear up some raiders and stuff and uh so yeah, so let's see, I'm gonna check my weight real quick before I go. Hundred pounds. Yeah, it's about right. I don't think dog meat's carrying anything, so if I need to I can just have him carry some stuff for me. So we cleared out uh, we cleared out the Backstreet Boys real quick, and so next we are heading to Diamond City. So let's go ahead and head out. Getting close to level 11. This game is pretty nice when it comes to leveling up because it doesn't like pause your screen instantly. It lets you choose when to pick your perks and stuff, so it's nice.
So I gotta turn left, go down that way somehow. Those guys are kind of strong. I saw the skull above his head, so that must have meant that uh, he was a little stronger than <coughs> a little stronger than me. So let's go ahead and grab these real quick. But I guess I actually have to head out. So uh, this has been a very short episode of uh, Fallout Friends. A hey, combat shotgun. I guess I didn't trip the wire or something. That was probably the pressure plate right there. Yeah. That was it. But, uh, yeah, well, I guess I'm just gonna oh, <laughs> snipe this guy real quick. Oh, Diamond City Security. I probably don't want to shoot that guy. Alright. Alright. Cool. Well, uh, I guess next time you guys catch up with me, I'll be heading to Diamond City. And thank you guys so much for watching. Alright. It's been Desmond of the Fall, friends. Catch you guys in the wasteland later.